Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Anuj and I am unfortunately unemployed. Yes, you heard it right. I am unemployed. My MBBS is over, my internship is over, but my residency is yet to start. So I have got this very beautiful free time in between of these two degrees of my MBBS or MD slash MS. And what is exactly up with me? I've got a lot of life updates to give you as well. And without any further ado, let's go. What exactly happened after my neat PG results? And ah, there is so many things that I have not documented yet. I have not told you guys. So I hope you're ready for it. Let's go. A few days before my neat PG results, I get a message from Dr. Nachiket Bhatia and he's like, I want to do a podcast with you. Would you be interested? And I'm like, I said, I said, absolutely. Yes, I would be very much interested in it. And he booked my flights and I was like, okay, let's go for this. My neat result was yet to be out and, and the podcast was supposed to be about content creation. So imagine this, you're preparing, you're packing your bags and next day you've got a flight at 5 a.m. As you're packing your bag at, at night at around 10 p.m. the neat results are out and I'm just so happy I get a call from Nachiket sir are you still available for the podcast how was your result and all so I was like yeah it was good uh, let's do the podcast tomorrow then I went to Delhi and I met my very very good friend Dr. Parth Sahani and you know there is a reason why I love the internet so much and it's because of friends like Parth Sahani that I've made over the course of these last six years creating content when my channel had less than 500 subscribers he had subscribed to it and he was always commenting on the videos and he was always supporting me from that time in 2018 or 19. He messaged me on Instagram and that's how we started chatting. And over the course of the six years, he became my very, very close friend. And we had planned so many times that let's meet, let's meet, but it was somehow not having. But we had decided that since I'm going to Delhi for the podcast, he will also come there. So he was on a train from Gujarat to Delhi and I was at my home when the need results got announced. And in the morning, we both for the first time met in Delhi. And really, to be honest, and it never for a second felt like we were meeting for the first time. The next three days in Delhi were so, so fun. I had one of the best times of my life and I saw a life that I could never have imagined. I'm from a small city called as Nagpur. We don't have a lot of luxury cars over here. We don't have very very tall skyscrapers around here but the life in Nagpur is very much tied into what I expect from my life going forward. It's a little bit laid back, it's a little bit relaxed. There is Everybody is really supportive of each other. So I love my city but, but when I went to Delhi for the three days, I saw a world which is completely different. Keep in mind that I have travelled internationally but what I saw in Delhi, it was completely mind changing. The podcast, the podcast went great and and then I had a wonderful opportunity to meet my inspiration, my idol and a person that I considered sort of a mentor for me throughout my entire journey of MBBS and that is Dr. Rohan Kandilwal sir. We did a small Q&A as well as a rapid fire section with Rohan sir and he signed my GIT sheet which is, uh, <laughs> I've got a signed sheet from Rohan sir, that's crazy. As the day was coming to an end, we were at our hotel and by the way, Najiket sir had given us a hotel that is Hayat. So Hayat was the one five star hotel. Hai. It is crazy, like for the first time I was staying in a five star hotel. So basically for the, the entirety of the evening after coming back from Gurgaon to Delhi, we were just unminding and relaxing in the Hayat. It is really, really fun, man. The next morning I met a few creative friends of mine like Mithali, Advika, Akshaj. And we spent the entire afternoon together having talking about so many different things. Advika and Mitali both talked about how they are going to be launching their brands. And they mostly asked me about need preparation and how do you balance it with content creation. Just as that was done, we had an appointment with Sakshi ma'am. So she is the OBGY faculty of Maro. So I met her and what a wonderful, wonderful person she is. I was so, so happy to meet her. She gave us an entire hour to talk to her and I asked her about PG brand selection. I asked her about how to get into teaching and so many different aspects. Finally, on the way out, I also met Aditya sir. Dr. Raja Jain as well as Dr. Ashwini Kumar sir. You know, seeing seeing the atmosphere in Delhi and seeing that what people are up to is just uh, it's just on the next level. I sitting in Nagpur cannot ever imagine to do the things that they are doing. But anyways, that was the end of day two. And on the last day, I went to see India Gate as well as meet one of the best teachers of all time that is Dr. Zainab Ma'am. Meeting Zainab Ma'am was the highlight of my trip. I'm such a big fan of her. I'm such a big fan of her work ethic. And after meeting her, after shooting a few videos with her, I always see Ma'am as one of the biggest inspirations to be a faculty or be, be a teacher because she is actually teaching all the 19 subjects herself. I had some pasta, fries and a few drinks. And the evening I picked up a flight and came back to Nagpur. That is exactly what happened for the next 72 hours after my neat PG results were out. And it was absolutely everything I've wanted. And it was so motivating to me. So if you're somebody who is studying for neat UG or neat PG, and if you have certain people that you really look forward to, after your result, just try to book a ticket and go and meet them. The, the inspiration that you're getting from the screen, you will get 10 times more inspiration and motivation when you actually meet them. And these people, the way they think, the way they talk, it gives you ideas about your own future and how you can optimize it and be a fraction of what these people are doing. Most of the times if somebody messages me that I'm in Nagpur, I want to meet you, sir, I always respond I, and I try to meet the students. Almost every two or three weeks, I have somebody who I meet up to and talk to them for at least 30-40 minutes because I understand the exact feeling what the student is feeling like. And so from my side, if you're 
whatever in Nagpur if you feel like you want to meet me just drop me an email DMs can get lost but emails cannot get lost and I'm, I'll try my best to meet you anyways that happened and I then started working on my blueprint so if you don't know I recently released my NeetPG blueprint it comprises of 25 lectures covering all the aspects of NeetPG preparation right from how do you make notes how do you schedule your revisions how do you solve the GTs how do you review the GTs how do you reduce your bookmarks what is the effective way to solve the custom modules how to become a pro at question bank and how do you make your own fantastic four notes the blueprint is available on my website you can go check it out it's a six hour long guidance module and 2500 people have already enrolled in it and 98.6 percent of the members think that the blueprint would have absolutely changed their need page of preparation if they had found it earlier it has lifetime access you can use the coupon code champion to get 10 percent off we've also got a small group chat where we talk about things that is difficult for us i plan on doing webinars for my blueprint members the link is in the description and i promise that if you follow the blueprint you will save at least three to four months of your need page preparation time especially if you're an intern or post intern and join the blueprint to ace your pg preparation Coming back to the story after the shoot for the blueprint was done, we actually held an event in Mumbai called as the Med Creators Collective. So I met a lot of my creative friends for the first time, right from Darshan sir, Vishal sir, Parth Goyal. I was in Mumbai for three days and I really, really enjoyed my time out there as well. It was a great way to just relax and chill out. There was this entire afternoon in Alibag where me, Darshan sir and Parth were in the swimming pool for like five hours and we just talked about some random, random things, man. But yeah, when will we do residency? We can just dream about this, now we cannot actually do it. Talking about residency, it was such a difficult decision as to which branch I want to take in the future, where do I want to take it and I think I went back and forth like 10 to 15 times. I had an entire session where, where I sat with my parents, uh, sat with my loved ones, I sat with my sister and my Jiju and we all discussed so much about what do we do exactly, where do I want the future to go and after changing my branch from 10 to 15 times, I finally have arrived at the branch that I will take in the future. I'll definitely tell you what that branch is when I get into it. I don't want to jinx my chances of getting into it, but I'm pretty sure I will be able to at my rank. It is definitely a hectic branch, but it's also rewarding. The two roads which I was facing was the one which involved having a very chill out lifestyle for the rest of your life. And the other one was like having a hectic residency as well as a hectic life in the future. There are pros and cons of each of these, but the main pros was that if I take a lighter branch, I'll be able to focus more on content creation, enjoy life more, maybe earn a little bit lesser than other people, but I'll definitely have time to enjoy my life. But the job satisfaction of being a doctor, like, I don't know how much uh, chill branches offer that. If you look at the core clinical branches, those are definitely heavy. They are they are difficult to get into and you basically have to give your entire life for that branch. In that, content creation will definitely take a back step. But being a doctor will take a front step. And as far back as I can think, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I always wanted to treat people. The content creation just happened in sideways. And even though content creation has got a great potential with respect to earnings, with respect to so many different things, free kit trips, mil jate, bahut kuch ho jata hai, but the satisfaction that you get from being a doctor is something else. If I do a brand collaboration and I get a few amount of rupees versus if I see a patient and I get less amount of rupees, I'll be more happier seeing the patient and treating their diseases rather than doing some brand collaboration. Because the only reason I'm doing content and creation is because I really love to. It is never about name, fame or money. It's purely because I love hitting the record button on the camera and just, just talking to the camera about everything that is going on in my life. Again, if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel. That would really mean a lot to me. So the end result of all the discussion was that I was more inclined towards a branch which was core clinical as well as which involved a lot of satisfaction as a doctor. So yes, that is something which I've decided. This is the branch that I've actually decided. I'll be revealing once I get into it. I hope you really understand why the competition and everything. If you are a neat PG aspirant, you would know why I'm not revealing the branch right now but I've already given a lot of hint as to which direction I'm going in at least and again I was really happy that before residency I'm getting to spend so much time enjoying it and uh, just making the most out of it guys please just take out neat PG in your first attempt if you can it's not a compulsion but if you can just do it because that way you don't have wow light chaligi anyways but once you do clear neat PG in your first attempt what happens is that you get so much more time to enjoy so much more time to relax and you're not really worried about the future. If you get a really good rank, you don't even have to worry about giving an INICET in the future or giving Neat PG again. Whereas if something would have gone south and I would not have been able to crack Neat PG, I would have been again sitting down and studying. And I know that it is very difficult to study for Neat PG. So yes, that was all that was going on in my life for the past six, seven weeks. I've also been practicing my guitar, practicing the piano, going out on dates, enjoying life in general. Anyways, I think this was a long, long segment of me just talking right here. Life update vlogs are supposed to be like that, I feel. <sighs> so I guess that is all I really wanted to talk about. My branch, my PG selection, as well as my life update at, and what's going on. If you're still watching by this minute, comment down below. Oxygen is green, so I know that you've watched it till the end. Chalo, I'll see you next Sunday. Alright, see you guys. Bye.